Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another adventure in the world of home automation. Uh, today I need to start out with an apology to Nick from Convessa. Uh, I promised him I would review Mastermind a good few weeks ago now, and I've only just gotten around to it. I suck. Sorry, Nick. Um, the Mastermind skill, if you've been hiding under a rock, is a skill that uh, will enable Alexa to read out your text messages um, and to tell you what uh, Facebook messages you've got and basically any notification that you've got in the notification uh, area of your Android phone, uh, you'll be able to get Alexa to tell you what that notification is. Uh, so anyway, enough blathering on. This is a review of the Mastermind skill. Um, and so I thought I would start out by doing some of the things in the app. So I've got the app open now. Um, I'm all ready to start using Mastermind Beta. So first of all, this is a beta. It's still in trial phase. So if you're thinking, well, that doesn't work very well, uh, you'll have to get over it. It's a, it's a beta test, uh, and Nick has worked super hard to put this together. Um, I'll start out by saying it is the best skill on the marketplace at the moment uh, by a long shot. Um, super easy to set up. I'll be going through the setup process after this review. Uh, so let's see, what can we do? Get notifications. Um, so first of all, if a notification goes off on your phone, you can use this command. Alexa, ask Mastermind what was that. Nisha, love you baby XXXX via WhatsApp. Received 30 minutes ago. So that sounded rude. The XXXX is, uh, that's kisses. That's not some... A uh, pornographic link that my partner has sent me. Um, ask Mastermind, Mastermind start casting. I can't do this one because I don't have a Chromecast. Uh, but you can get Mastermind to appear on your TV, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see Nick doing all of this on this video here, by the way. So, I mean, if you're interested in seeing a, uh, a slightly more professional-looking uh, version of this, then you can go to his video uh, and watch him do it. Uh, get and send text messages. So this is uh, an awesome idea, uh, implemented to the best of um, uh, Mastermind's ability with what Amazon is offering. So um, this skill is very much reliant on her ability to understand you um, and understand your words correctly. So of course, if you're trying to send text messages with your voice, uh, we all know how Alexa sometimes doesn't hear you properly. Ignore me. Cancel. Yeah, you will cancel. Uh, so you can send text messages, so, um, Alexa, ask Mastermind to send message. Send message to who? Nisha. What message do you want to send Nisha? This is a test of the mastermind skill. Send Nisha. This is a test of the mastermind skill, right? Yes. Sorry, I could not complete the send message action. So this is a beta test, as I said, so things don't always go according to plan, as you've noticed. Um, I haven't got that to work yet, it would seem. Uh, I am doing a lot of this for the first time in a while. So I did get this quite a while ago and was blown away by it and immediately wanted to review it. Uh, but then a load of stuff got in the way. Ask Mastermind to get my messages. You have no new messages and 10 red messages. First message from Tim received yesterday at 4.56 p.m. Okay, no worries, dude, smile. Second message from Tim received yesterday at 4.34 p.m. Yeah, sounds good. Practice Thursday. Third message received from Tim at 4.27 p.m. Alexa, stop. So that works really well. So that was um, a list of my text messages, mostly from my uh, friend Tim wanting to go indoor climbing. Um, because I'm, I'm that cool, I do indoor climbing. Uh, so that's pretty awesome, that, that works great. So I'd have to have an incoming phone call to do this one, but you can ask Mastermind who's calling, uh, which is great, if your phone's in your pocket, it will tell you who's ringing. Um, you can ask Mastermind to make a phone call. Now we will point out, if you wanna do this, you're gonna need a Bluetooth earpiece in, otherwise you might as well just pick this thing up, um, because you can't talk via Alexa into the phone, out to the outside world. Cancel.
That's going to get annoying throughout this process. Um, so yeah, you'll need a Bluetooth headset to really make use of that. So if you're a, a swanky businessman type, uh, then you'll find that really useful, I guess. Uh, let's test it out anyway. Uh, Alexa, ask Mastermind to make phone call. Make call to who? Nisha. Call Nisha. Right? Yes. Calling Nisha. Amazing. Um, ask a mind, mastermind to send call to voicemail. So if someone is ringing you, First of all, you can ask uh, who is ringing, and then you can say um, send them to voicemail when you don't want to talk to them, which is uh, rude, but brilliant. Um, you can ask Mastermind to accept the call as well. So uh, you can just say uh, ask Mastermind to accept call, and it will pick the phone up, and um, as long as you've got a Bluetooth headset in, that will be a useful thing to have. Uh, get status updates. This one's really cool, so this is one that you'll probably want to wake up to. Alexa. Ask Mastermind to get my status update. Good afternoon, Paul. Here is your status update for Saturday, March 11th. Your phone is 70% charged. You this got true. no new messages, 20 notifications, true. and 4 calendar events. Notifications. First, Hibberts. 5 new Don't messages via that WhatsApp, received 5 minutes ago. Second, Hibberts. Four new messages via that WhatsApp, received 24 minutes ago. Um, so its integration with Android is incredible. I can't believe the amount of uh, things it's managed to sort of tie into um, and not only control, but also be able to read and give you inf information on. Um, and you'll find that there is more of that to come. So uh, let's see what else have we got. Alexa, ask Mastermind to get my calendar. You have six calendar events. First event, at 12 a.m., date day. Date Second day. event, at 3 p.m., date day. Third event, at 4 p.m. Um, so that's awesome. So that's gone into my calendar. Uh, my calendar is shared with my partner, and so it's given me a couple of things twice there. Um, so it's telling me that today is date day. So I probably shouldn't be making a video. I should probably be doing something romantic. Uh, but I am not. I'm making this video. Um, so that is the calendar appointments. That works really well too. Uh, data usage is cool. Alexa, ask Mastermind what's my data usage. In the last thirty days, you used eleven point five gigabytes. Oh, that's a lot of data. Oh, this one's super cool. So this is really useful. Alexa. Ask Mastermind to ring my phone. Ringing your phone for 25 seconds. So that's dead cool, because I mean, if you can't find your phone, um, that's a pretty useful thing to have, so that's impressive. Alexa, ask Mastermind to start navigation. Navigate to where? Derby City Centre. Navigate to Doggy City Centre, right? <laughs> no. So if I ever want to navigate to Doggy City Centre, that, that'll be fine. Um, so uh, this, again, is not Convessor's fault. This isn't um, the fault of Nick from Convessor. This is the fault of... Um, I'm name-dropping on it. I sound dead cool. I know the guy. Yeah, anyway. Um, the navigation doesn't work so well, I've found, for me. I don't know if that's my uh, voice, my Derbyshire twang. Uh, what it is, but I, I can't get it to navigate anywhere. Um, and again, that is the fault of Amazon, not the fault of, of Nick. Uh, turn things on and off so I can switch on and off my Wi-Fi and uh, the audio and the Bluetooth on my phone, which is dead cool. Uh, I can confirm that works. I've tried it. I'm not going to demonstrate it. You can launch apps. Uh, let's give that a go. Uh, Alexa, ask Mastermind to launch Chrome. Starting Chrome. Awesome. 
So that works. Uh, create reading lists to listen to later. So you can highlight text, as I said, in a web browser or on your phone and then share it to Mastermind. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Um, so let's give that a go. So I've already shared something earlier today. Um, Alexa, ask Mastermind to get my reading list. You have three items in your reading list. First, Bluetooth has quickly become the most common way to enjoy wireless audio through speakers and headphones. However, one concern that some have... Uh, so there is a Chrome extension to make that work if you want to do that. So you just add the Chrome extension to Chrome and then you can highlight the text, right click on it and then go add to Mastermind. Um, and then mirror notifications to your PC again via the Chrome extension. Um, so that's pretty cool. That means that anything that comes in on my phone as a notification in the top pull down section uh, will appear in Chrome. So I can see without getting my phone out of my pocket uh, what the notification is and therefore don't need to necessarily ask Mastermind to um, tell me what my notification was. I can actually view it on my PC in front of me. Um, this has gone on long enough. Um, again, Nick had, does a much better demonstration of this on his own video. Uh, so I'm going to shut up talking now and I'm going to uh, show you how to set this up. So you'd be pleased to know the Mastermind skill is the easiest thing so far to install that I've shown you guys. So if you just open up the Alexa app and go to menu and then skills and then search for the Mastermind skill. You can then open that up and press enable. So super easy to enable the skill. Uh, we can then sign in with our Google account. So you'll then need to allow access to several uh, aspects. So you need to go to allow Mastermind to have offline access. And the skill is now linked to my uh, Google Mail account. So it's important to use the same Google Mail account when installing the app, which is what we're going to do now. So we're going to go to the Play Store. And we're going to install the Mastermind app. So I've already searched for it. You'll need to search for it, of course. I'm now going to open the app up. And you get a nice little welcome screen uh, telling you that it's going to be able to do these things uh, and these things. And you need to accept the terms of service if you want it to do those things. Also gives you a bit of a warning. It's a closed beta. Uh, and you'll also be added to a waiting list to begin with. Uh, unless you want to pay, you can pay $15 and skip the queue. Um, so I'm going to now sign in again with the same account that you used uh, to enable the skill, which was my Gmail account. Uh, Mastermind now needs your permission to do a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to allow uh, for SMS. Uh, I'm going to allow for my contacts. Uh, allow for phone calls. Allow for calendar. Allow for location, allow for media, and then now we need to grant access to a few things in the Android settings, so notification access, back, data access, Allow usage tracking, back, and there we go, we're in. Uh, so as I said, you'll have a, uh, a bit of a waiting time unless you want to pay the $15. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider giving it a like. Uh, if you like this guy and you think I'd like to see more of this guy, then hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to support me, you can simply by uh, donating a, a one-off payment by PayPal. Uh, or if you're feeling really generous and you really like me, uh, you can become a patron of me on Patreon. Uh, that's now a thing. Links in the description. See you next time.